With the new viral hit anime scheduled to release in early April, I thought I'd make a video going over its villains. Specifically, in this video, me and Logan L will be making a villain tier list based on how much we enjoyed them as characters, ranking them based on impact of the story, intimidation, and how much we enjoyed seeing them in their own arcs. Get ready to delve into some viral hit villainous activities. For the first villain, I pass it to Logan L. Yo guys, it's Logan L, who you might have seen before from my webtoon fashion videos or my lookism video essays. My OG viewers know from my second ever video that I'm a big viral hit fan, so when Matt came to me with this video idea, you know how to hop on it. The viral hit villains are some of the most diverse in design, motives, and fighting styles, so ranking them should be a lot of fun. Snapper. Snapper is technically the first ever villain we see in Viral Hit. Snapper begins as one of Hoban's high school bullies, terrorizing him at school and just being an all-around menace to Hoban's daily life. Some of the villainous feats we see him achieve are using Hoban's mom's credit card, forcing Hoban to make ramyeon in his own house, and accidentally live-streaming their pathetic catfight on the internet. True villain activities. In all seriousness, we as the readers don't remember Snapper for his short-lived villain arc, but instead remember him as the man behind the camera of the Viral Hit YouTube channel and as Hoban's best friend. So for that, I think he's C tier. During his short stint as a villain, he was definitely a fun first challenge for Hoban, but as a whole, he only had a villain run because he was a Pat Go meat rider more than anything. Talking about Pat Go, now this bald-headed, criminal-looking high schooler is actually our main character, Hoban's classmate. He terrorized him horribly throughout high school and is the first real villain we're introduced to. It's a pretty generic bully trope, you know, beating him up, insulting him, but Paco was interesting because he introduced us to the YouTube world and the main theme for this webtoon, becoming a YouTuber. Paco has a whopping 700,000 subscribers and we see his quick downfall not only in a fight but online too, setting up the premise of this webtoon as not only about fighting but also about your online persona and politics. I give Paco a B tier for his time on screen and the intimidation he really instilled into an early development Hoban. He was a stepping stone for our main character to gain the initial confidence he needed to become viral hit. Paco is an amateur. He can't fight nor really threaten Hoban in any way, regardless of how he looks. And bro, he looks really scary. Just look how scary he looks for a first villain. Taehun Song Taehun can be considered as Hoban's first true challenge. He was brought to the viral hit YouTube channel's attention originally due to his notoriety as a delinquent high schooler. Previously famous for being an accomplished Taekwondo athlete, his new reputation was of a violent kid who took what he wanted, no matter what he had to do to get it. This included things like shoes, money, and even Hoban's YouTube channel. The catch to all of this though, was that he just did it to make you feel helpless and ashamed, making kids take off their own shoes in fear, threatening Hoban with his channel after beating up Snapper, and getting into fights just to steal 501. The intricacies of his character backstory and why he did the things he did makes Taehun a very interesting villain, a character that Viral Hit explores very well. Kicks are the name of the game for a Taekwondo fighter like Taehun, making it the job of his opponents to somehow deal with his devastating range, power, and speed. His fight with Hoban is one of the best fights in the whole webtoon, despite being so early on, and every Taehun fight after that is just so good. His merit as a villain is super strong, and although I think his character definitely reaches its full potential when he is no longer a villain, he was menacing and intimidating as Hoban's first true challenge. A tier. Viral Hook. Viral Hook is an A tier villain, straight up. He was an amazing antagonist and honestly, a very legit threat for Hoban to overcome. This guy is another YouTuber, a common theme we'll see moving forward. But he got famous from copying Hoban's content. He dresses as a nerd, similar to Hoban, and goes around the streets fighting off bullies while live streaming the exact same thing Hoban does. But nothing is that simple. Viral Hook is actually a trained kickboxer. He's exploiting Viral Hit's content and now is copyright striking him. This is a major problem, and Hoban goes to confront him. And we find out that Viral Hook is a hurdle that Hoban is incapable of overcoming at first, and the dynamics of new to beef really start to show during this arc. Viral Hook has the attitude and intimidation of a true villain, and he's one of the few characters that actually made Hoban change. It's kind of like peeling off Hoban's nice guy persona. The more trauma and dilemmas Hoban finds himself in, we slowly see the transformation into a cold-blooded fighter. And we know there's two things you don't mess with when it comes to Hoban. Hoban's loved ones, and of course, his money, which is his YouTube channel. Since Viral Hook introduced the premise of YouTube beef, and he dares step on Hoban's channel, he goes into A tier. One Punch TV, a YouTube channel run by siblings Gyol and Wangguk. 
is a target of viral hit due to their public attack of Rumi on their channel. Their channel is dedicated to celebrity news, where they expose public figures for scandals and whatnot. Not too bad, but it's pretty vile when they spread fake news about Rumi, defaming her character and breaking her down to tears, prompting Hoban and the gang to help. Starting off with the older sibling, Wanguk is Gyo's older brother, and visually, he looks pretty scary. A deadpan but almost tired expression on his face, an eyebrow slit, buzz cut, and his 24-7 Under Armour fits. Wanguk looks like he does nothing but fight. This shows in Hoban's introduction to Wanguk, where seemingly out of nowhere, he slams Hoban to the desk with force. Protective of Gyol in his first meeting, he slams Hoban on the desk and attacks Taehun and Rumi as well, seemingly with no control over his emotions. A loose cannon that would make him a fearful villain by that fact alone, but what makes him even scarier is that he went toe to toe in his small interaction with Taehun, meaning that he's pretty strong. Wanguk's backstory also adds another element to his character. An ex-convict who joined the prison's boxing team and was the best in his class. These boxing skills would be demonstrated by the masterful writing and viral hit in Wanguk's fight against Manji Huang and Hoban. Both of these fights being my personal favorite fights in all of viral hit. I talk about it more in my viral hit video from 2022, but these fights just exemplify what makes this webtoon so fun to read. In the Manji fight, it shows two different martial arts clash and why one outperforms the other. And in the Hoban fight, how a way more skilled, way better conditioned fighter can get out cheesed by specialized techniques that the funny chicken man advises Hoban to do on Nootube. Wanguk's loose cannon nature, scary look, and fun fights gives him the A tier spot for me. Whilst I knew he was not the big villain, he was definitely a very good villain. Gyol is probably one of the scariest villains of this entire webtoon. Not because of her raw fighting prowess, but more her vibe and energy. Her introduction deceives the reader into believing she is a cute bubbly pink haired girl who is buying an expensive Gucci dress just to impress our main character for their first meeting. This deception is exposed when her facial expression changes to one of the most dead eyed looks I've seen in a webtoon. The look of no emotions as she watches others get beat up truly solidified her as one of the scariest in the webtoon. Knowing that Wanguk does everything to her beckon and seeing her abuse this power by watching others suffer made me hate her whilst I was reading. A feeling of hate that I know was intentional for us readers to feel. She's also decently strong, having at least enough power to fight with Gal. But her backstory though, is something that personally justifies both her and Wanguk's spot in A tier. This backstory gives us perfect context as to how these broken human beings ended up the way we met them for the first time. Definitely a must read, best sibling duo in the webtoon. The next villain on the list is the Wilderness Brothers. They are two brothers, a sibling duo similar to One Punch TV, but the difference is they're kind of forgettable. The only reason I remember them is because of this dude Jisoo, and let me tell you, it's not for the right reasons. Sure, Jisoo was intimidating at first, being a Jujutsu user, but he's still forgettable in the long run. And his brother, he's just a meathead. So for these reasons, I'm placing them both in C tier. They didn't really go in depth on these characters or give a solid backstory to their relationship, unlike Wang Guk and his sister Gaio. This brother duo doesn't really get much character development, they don't push the story along, and I bet at this point, Hoban doesn't even remember them either. Of course, I don't think the author was trying to emphasize them that much or put much importance on the Wilderness Brothers, but it was still a good short arc that I enjoyed. It allowed Hoban to grow in his grappling abilities and gain more confidence in fights, especially against such a strong martial arts like Jiu Jitsu. Mun Seong Kim Now this guy was so hyped up ever since the first chapter. I really saw the potential of him as a rival. Personally though, I don't think Mun Seong was really considered a villain, more like an adversary for Hoban to get stronger. Mun Seong is a questionable character with questionable motives. We don't really know what goes in his mind, and you know, maybe that's good, he's kind of mysterious, but he's also a questionable villain, so he goes in C tier. Mun Seong had a lot of potential, and it's just truly sad that he could have done much more in the story, other than just sitting around and, you know, commenting on fights sometimes. Song Jun Baek Song Jun Baek the president of XJ Company, for whom many of our villains listed here were employed, is dangerous. Ever since his introduction, a scary air surrounded him. First, his look. The omakase setting, Japanese chef uniform, and big knives gave an air of danger that is a bit uncertain. 
Then you see him without his shirt and he is just tatted completely from the neck down. And then combine all of this with his borderline insane facial expressions and you can tell that Song Jun Baek is a menace by looks alone. And then all of his early scenes as well. Song Jun in front of his shark tank will always be one of the best panels of the entire webtoon, truly showing off his killer nature. And then the scene where he is pouring boiling hot oil on Hyunsu, just a truly terrifying moment from a character who you just assumed was the good guy before. This is obviously my spoiler free brief of Song Jun Baek, his backstory as well as the fight with Hoban and the crew being some of the best writing I have read in webtoons. Due to Song Jun being a perpetual threat to Hoban and the gang, as well as having one of, if not the best backstories and arcs out of everybody in this webtoon, I have to say that Song Jun is an S tier viral hit villain. Jin Ho Lee, immediate S tier. If you know, you know. Hei Su So. Hei Su So is probably my favorite addition to part two of the webtoon, including our new protagonists, new storylines, everything. Hei Su So is the character that carries part two in terms of my interest. Heisu is simultaneously the biggest villain of part 2 and also the biggest ally. Reading into what Heisu is thinking proves to be one of the hardest things you can do whilst reading Viral Hit. Is he an enemy from the other side? Does he secretly want Hoban to succeed? These questions compel you to read more of the webtoon to see where Heisu's affiliation lies. His strength is also pretty huge, allowing for overpowered part 2 Hoban to have some competition. His looks are also cool having a lot of simps in the webtoon comments, as well as his attitude and aura suiting his mysterious vibe. Due to this huge air of mystery since his introduction as a villain, I would say that Heisu is A tier, which is fitting, as I would say he is the face of part 2. Thanks for watching. Bye! So those are some of the viral hit villains ranked. Let me know in the comments below what you think about this list and if you're going to tune into the anime. Of course, you can read viral hit. It will be in the description below. And while you're at it, why don't you subscribe to me and Logan L. We post Lookism, PTJ Universe, and Webtoon content all the time. Thanks for watching and I will see you in the next video.